Dmitry Bivol versus Artem Baterbiev is the best fight in boxing right now. Number one and number two in their division. Both are on the top 10 pound for pound list. Both are undefeated. Both have looked unstoppable up to this point. A true 50-50 matchup. And to make this fight even greater, they hold all the belts at 175 pounds. Meaning whoever wins will become the first ever undisputed light heavyweight champion in the four belt era. Hardcore boxing fans have been calling for this fight for almost 7 years, since 2017 when both guys became light heavyweight champion in the same year, after Andre Ward retired and the three belts he held became vacant. Arta Baterbiev then defeated Enrico Calling for the vacant IBF title, while Dmitry Bivol who held the interim title was elevated to WBA world champion following Andre Ward's retirement. However, since then Dmitry Bivol has been locked in with Eddie Hearn's matchroom, while Arta Baterbiev is tied to Bob Arum's top rank. And as usual, boxing politics got in the way of this fight. That was until this man arrived, His Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh, and his mission to fix boxing with the financial backing of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And thus, here we are. The best fight in boxing is on and taking place October 12th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So now the question is, who will win? Let's break it down. Dimitri Bivol is 23 and out with 12 knockouts, giving him a 52% knockout ratio. He measures at 6 foot tall or 183 centimeters, with a reach of 72 inches or 183 centimeters. Artur Baterbiev is 20 and out with 20 knockouts, giving him a 100% knockout ratio. He measures at 5 foot 11 and a half or 182 centimeters, with a reach of 73 inches or 185 centimeters. The stats are relatively even and don't show either man as having a clear advantage. Probably the most notable start is Baterbiev's 100% knockout ratio, which shows how dominant of a knockout artist he is. But Dmitry Bivol is just as dominant in his own way. Bivol is not just undefeated, but he has won every decision unanimously. This means no split decisions, no majority decisions, and that every single judge in all of his fights have given him the decision. This means he is never in a close fight and barely loses any rounds. And this is an important stat that is often unnoticed and overlooked, but shows the dominance of Dmitry Bivol and his ability to completely control a fight. Baterbiev has the ability to knock his opponent out at any moment, but Bivol has the ability to totally dictate the pace of a fight and force his opponent to fight at a rhythm that they are not comfortable with. Both fighters are undoubtedly in the top 10 pound for pound list and are two of the best fighters in the world right now, and their resumes are also evenly stacked. Dmitry Bivol captured his first and only world title in 2017 when he became mandatory challenger to Andre Ward. However, Andre Ward then retired and Badu Jack refused to fight Bivol for the vacant WBA belt. Therefore, Bivol was elevated to WBA champion as he held the interim title since 2016. Otto Baterbiev captured his first world title in 2017 when he defeated Enrico Calling for the vacant IBF belt following Andre Ward's retirement. Baterbiev then added the WBC belt to his resume following a brutal victory over Alexander Gvozdik in 2019. Then in 2022, he captured his third belt, the WBO title, in a destructive second round knockout over Joe Smith Jr. In total, Baterbiev has 8 title defences, 3 wins over former world champions and 2 wins over undefeated opponents. His last 6 opponents have a combined record of 140 wins, 8 defeats and 1 draw. Dmitry Bivol has 12 title defences, 4 wins over former world champions and 3 wins over undefeated opponents. His last 6 opponents have a combined record of 188 wins, 4 defeats and 3 draws. Baterbiev probably has the best win at £175, that being Alexander Gvozdik. But of course, Bivol has huge standout wins against the undisputed £168 champion Canelo Alvarez and the current WBA Cruiserweight World Champion Zerdo Ramirez. Again, neither fighter has a clear advantage here. And overall, even their resumes are evenly matched. It is a true 50-50 matchup. And ultimately, this fight will be decided by ability, attributes, skill and tactics. Dmitry Bivol's style is very much influenced by the Soviet school of boxing. Starting boxing at 6 years old in Kyrgyzstan and moving to Russia as a teenager, Bivol has had 27 years to perfect his Soviet style, and therefore Bivol is one of the best Soviet style boxers in the world. His footwork is amazing to watch, he transfers his weight in a way that conserves his energy, while still allowing him to quickly attack his opponent, with almost no tell on his punches. This footwork allows him to control his range perfectly and strike his opponents with some of the most accurate boxing I've honestly ever seen. He rarely ever misplaces or misses his target and lands blistering combinations with great accuracy. His rhythmic style also allows him to control the pace of a fight by forcing his opponent into fighting at his rhythm. Bivol also has great cardio and endurance which allows him to keep his form and his rhythmic style for 12 rounds without slowing down at all, still throwing insane combinations in the last round. 
Bivol doesn't have many flaws, but one thing I have noticed is that Bivol prefers to fight at long or mid range, and when his opponent is too close, Bivol will often push his opponent away with both hands, leaving his chin exposed. He often gets away with this as he throws combinations instantly after he does this, but if Baturbiev is aware of this, he may be able to catch Bivol with short hooks or uppercuts when in close range. Also, Bivol's style is something that Baturbiev will be familiar with, as he too is from Russia and had an extensive amateur career where he faced many Soviet style boxers similar to Bivol. Another obvious worry for Bivol is his lack of stoppages. Bivol only has one knockout in his last 10 fights and going up against a huge puncher like Baturbiev, you need to have power to earn his respect. If Baturbiev doesn't respect his opponent's power, he pressures them the entire fight and eventually breaks them down. However, I don't think Bivol's lack of stoppages is due to a lack of power. I actually think Bivol has a habit of fighting to the level of his opponents and always doing just enough to win the rounds but never taking the risk to force a knockout. For example, he had a phenomenal performance against Canelo and Zerdo Ramirez as these were the biggest name opponents of his career but then had a much closer fight with lower level opponent Craig Richards. But based on this fact, I believe we will see the best Dimitri Bivol possible against Arta Baturbia. Arta Baturbiev is also very much influenced by the Soviet school of boxing, but because of his freakish power, his technical ability is underappreciated. Baturbiev is not just a powerful brawler, he's a very well-schooled and highly technical boxer. Baturbiev is a two-time Olympian, having been to the 2008 and 2012 Olympic Games, where he was unlucky as he lost to both gold medal winners early in the tournament, Zhang Xiaoping, the 2008 gold medalist, and Alexander Usyk, the 2012 gold medalist. Of course, Baturbiev does have insane punch power, but it it takes more than that to become an Olympian. Baturbiev is also surprisingly fast. His combinations don't flow like Bivol's, but his single punches are insanely quick for a light heavyweight, which makes his counter punches very effective. This counter punching ability, along with his relentless forward pressure fighting, means Baturbiev can fight just as well going backwards as going forwards. Baturbiev is very tough, as we saw in his fight with Marcus Brown, where he sustained a pretty deep cut to the head. But despite this toughness, we have also seen Baturbiev hurt more than once, including a heavy knockdown against Callum Johnson. Baturbiev is easy to hit, and his head movement is limited. He also often squares up his stance and leaves his chin exposed when throwing combinations. Another concern I have about Baturbiev is his recent injuries and surgeries. He has had four surgeries in the last five years and has postponed multiple fights with injury, including his fight with Bivol, which was supposed to take place in June. He is 40 years old next year and as we know, nobody can defeat father time. Making a prediction for this fight is super tough. It's the best fight in boxing, a complete 50-50 fight, and I can absolutely see how both guys could win. But if I have to predict this fight, I have two options in my mind. Bivol will dominate with his quick combinations, straight punches, and movement for the first six to eight rounds. Then Baturbiev will come into the fight, possibly hurt Bivol in the second half of the fight, and win some rounds. But Bivol will recover and win enough rounds to get the decision victory. My second option starts the same way. I think Bivol wins the first six rounds regardless of the outcome. But I think Baturbiev could hurt Bivol in the second half of the fight and finish him. To be honest, I can see both guys getting hurt in this fight. But without a doubt, if Bivol gets rocked, there is a much bigger chance of Baturbiev getting the finish than if Baturbiev gets rocked by Bivol. And as a wise man once said, you don't bet against a puncher. But I'm going to ignore that advice. I'm going with my first option. Bivol dominates the first half of the fight. Baturbiev then maybe hurts Bivol in the middle of the fight, wins a few rounds, but Bivol will recover, win more rounds, and get the decision victory over Baturbiev. Let me know your predictions. I can't wait for this fight, and I'm so hyped that it's finally happening. May the best man win.